Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to derive the expressions for phase velocity. In the previous video, I have given you the definition of phase velocity and group velocity. Now, in this video, we are going to see what is the expression for phase velocity in terms of cutoff wavelength and free space wavelength. So now, the phase velocity, we know the phase velocity is nothing but it is the velocity with which the wave travels or propagates in the waveguide. It is the velocity with which the wave travels in the waveguide. Okay, suppose if you take a rectangular waveguide. If you take this rectangular waveguide, this is the wave that travels in the rectangular waveguide. Now, what is the velocity with which the wave travels in the rectangular waveguide from this end to this end? Okay, this is indicated by the velocity Vp. This is what the phase velocity. Now, we know already h square. h square is equal to gamma square plus omega square mu epsilon. In the calculation of propagation of waves in the rectangular waveguide, in the beginning of this uh, uh, rectangular waveguides, I have discussed the propagation of waves in the rectangular waveguide. There, I have assumed the parameter h square as gamma square plus omega square mu square. What is gamma? Gamma is nothing but operator in the direction of propagation z. Okay. So, now from this and during the calculation part, we have also assumed h square is equal to a square plus b square. What do you mean by a, and a and b? In the calculation of boundary conditions, so we have got a as m pi by a and b as n pi by b. Okay, so m pi by a whole square n pi by b whole square. So substitute this in this equation, equation number one, then gamma square plus omega square mu epsilon is equal to m pi by a whole square plus n pi by b whole square. Gamma square is equal to m pi by a whole square plus n pi by b whole square minus omega square mu epsilon okay now take this equation number two we know what is alpha beta and gamma what are the alpha beta and gamma in this uh, waveguide terminology alpha is nothing but attenuation constant beta is phase constant and gamma is nothing but propagation constant now consider the attenuation constant attenuation constant alpha is equal to 0 we know gamma is equal to alpha plus j beta then it becomes j beta ok so we are going to calculate this uh, Vp without any attenuation that, that means what is the amount of input signal that presents at the input of the rectangular waveguide the entire signal will be present at the output of waveguide. So the attenuation constant alpha is equal to 0 then what happens gamma is equal to j beta and yet the frequency of the waveguide which is the cutoff frequency then omega is equal to omega c and we know at this frequency the propagation constant equal to 0. At, f, at cutoff frequency f, f c the propagation constant gamma is equal to 0. So if you substitute this gamma equal to 0 in this equation number 2 then 0 is equal to m pi by a whole square m pi by a whole square plus n pi by b
whole square minus omega c <coughs> square mu epsilon. So omega c square mu epsilon is equal to m pi by a whole square n pi by b whole square. Now substitute this in equation number 4. So from equation, what is this? Equation number 2. Equation number 2, gamma square is equal to, what is gamma now? It is j beta. Okay, j beta square, j beta square is equal to m pi by a whole square plus n pi by b whole square. What is this? This one, omega c square mu epsilon minus omega square mu epsilon. See, omega square mu epsilon. Now, j square is nothing but minus 1 omega c square mu epsilon minus omega square mu epsilon. So, beta square is equal to omega square minus if it goes on to the other hand minus omega square mu epsilon. Now, beta is equal to, uh, let us consider the same, beta square is equal to take mu epsilon common omega minus omega square minus omega c square. You can take 2 pi also common 2 pi square mu epsilon. <coughs> It is F square minus F C square. Now, what is beta? Beta is equal to 2 pi root mu epsilon under root of F minus F C squares. <coughs> that is equal to 2 pi by C. Already we know since c is equal to 1 by root mu epsilon that is velocity of the light square root of f minus fc this is square and this is square okay this entire equal to beta take c by square root of f minus fc is equal to 2 pi by beta. What is 2 pi by beta? It is nothing but lambda g. We know lambda g guide wavelength is equal to 2 pi by b. It is nothing but the wave which travels in the wave. This lambda g refers to the wavelength of the wave which travels in the wave guide <coughs> where lambda g is guide wavelength guide wavelength that means the wave which travels in the wave guide so lambda g is equal to here what is lambda g c by f square minus f c square root that is equal to c by take f square common so f when it comes out from the root it is f 1 minus f c by f whole square okay now it is lambda g so take this frequency onto the other hand so it is lambda g into f is equal to c by 1 minus f c by f whole square under root. What is lambda g into f from the definition of phase velocity? So, lambda g where lambda g into f is equal to vp, phase velocity. So, phase velocity vp is equal to c by 1 minus fc by f whole square. This is under root. If you want to rewrite the same equation in terms of uh, cut of wavelengths instead of frequencies in terms of wavelength, you can also write 
so in terms of wavelength lambda we know f is equal to c by lambda c and f is equal to c by lambda naught it is free space frequency operating frequency or free space wavelength then vp is equal to c by 1 minus fc nothing but c by lambda c divided by it is c by lambda naught cc cancel and lambda naught by lambda c it will come lambda naught by lambda c whole square under root this is the definition of the phase velocity it is the expression for the phase velocity okay thank you